this is Angie Quidham with That's My Entertainment. I'm here with the executive producers for the new freeform show, Siren. There's uh, Emily and Eric, and they're going to give us a little bit of background because this is not your typical tale. This is something completely new and refreshing to us fans who are looking for something different. So, yeah, mermaids. <laughs> Mermaids, we think of, you know, Little Mermaid, the, the Danish statue in Copenhagen. But we don't think of things dark and scary and wanting to hurt us. So can you give us a little bit of background of the inspiration of this? Well, you know, again, Jaws is a huge inspiration, uh, both in terms of the monster movie aspect of that, but really about the characters and the town, the humor, the drama. It just really is a perfect piece of entertainment, I think. And to take mermaids and put them into that world is really fascinating. Like you say, we haven't seen that version of them before. And part of the reason I think we haven't seen it on TV is just the technical challenges of shooting on water. Like it is ambitious, you know? And so we really, we embrace that. And, um, but really, more importantly, it, it's about the themes and it's about the stories we were able to tell through this, this fascinating new take on a classic mythology. How much of a struggle was it to kind of get people to, to kind of bite on this? Because again, people see mermaids as a positive, happy thing. And when you try and present this, this other side, I mean, just like anything new, people are very resistant. What was your reactions? I mean, was this really hard in the pitching room or was it? Very, very lucky actually, because it was a time when Freeform was changing over to to a new concept themselves from ABC Family, which had been a little bit softer, to a more um, interesting in many ways and um, a darker, for lack of a better word, um, concept. And so my understanding is that when Eric came in with this idea, they bit right away. Nice. It was perfect for them. Yeah. Um, I think people are really are genuinely hungry for sort of new takes on classic things. I mean, when we saw Nolan's Batman for the first time, it just felt so fresh and original and exciting. So I, I think really, I mean, once people sort of understood what the concept was and that we weren't going to do what the expected version was, they like really rushed to it and were really excited about it. So the, the other thing too is, you know, a lot of TV these days are now narrowed down from the typical 22 to 26 episodes to 10 yep. and 8. I mean, and this is, it seems like the story can be so vast, so rich. Does it bug you a little bit that you're kind of have to be pressed for time in sort of that kind of, you know, predicament? About that evolution, though, television in many ways has gotten better because... 22 episodes or 24 episodes, in many cases, if it's not a, um, a law and order type or a, right. you know, it really is the perfect amount of time to tell a good story. You're not treading water. You're not coming up with story that you don't want to tell. Right. You're really able to concentrate on telling a very good story. And so I think it's been a benefit. Um, we'll have to move on from there, right. I imagine, at some yeah. point. But um, it does give you the opportunity to really think about a good story and, a, and well told. I and mean, character development is everything these days because you have such a short time. So one of the things I can appreciate is fresh ideas that will have to make you make rich, well developed characters that kind of get you involved, especially the mermaid. The background on the creation of the mermaid is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, just everything looks great, so I really yeah. can't can't wait awesome. to see this. Um, the show will be premiering on Freeform on March 29th. Stay tuned. This is Angie Quidham. That's my entertainment. What's yours? <laughs>